Hello everyone, good news for the RBMK user community. We got a fix for the fuel consumption. I found the memory addresses where the different fuel channels are stored using Cheat Engine. So you see now the generated load in the generator. It's 1027 megawatts and the thermal power is 97.9% because I left the simulator running for 3 or 4 hours so the thermal power built up because of the fission products. And if we leave this even longer, we can reach a thermal power equal to the neutron flux. So we could even get a higher value of generated load, maybe 1040, 1050 megawatts. So I will show you how I did this. Now the remaining fuel is 81%. And I don't have cheat engine activated now, so this is being reduced or the fuel is being consumed very fast. Now let's go to cheat engine. You may already know cheat engine if you use the cheat for the xenon concentration. So mm, you need to find the memory addresses where the different variables are stored and then you can either fix them or modify them and then fix them. So mm, I could give you the memory addresses where the mm, fuel channels are stored, but instead I will just keep it in a city file. So you can open the CD file and the memory addresses will be incorporated here. So here we need to to select this process, which is the simulator itself. we we'll open it. I say no because I don't want to load the previous CD file, which was only for Xenon. And then I will load the CD file that I created with Xenon plus the 25 25 fuel channels. So I open it and here we see the first one is the Xenon which was the uh, 100 plus 23210 and here it starts the the fuel channel. So the first one is 23870 and it goes up to 23AD0. So in total there are 25 channels. If we look at this diagram here we see that there are five rows and five columns so 25 channels. So all we need to do, I will not fix Xenon con concentration because Xenon is quite low now, it's 81% and we have the reactor running at nominal power, there is enough neutron flux to keep Xenon low. So we just need to select all the channels one by one. I don't know if there is an option to select all in once. I don't see it anyway, there are just 25. Okay, so now they are all selected. You see that the number is not changing anymore. And we can just minimize cheat engine and the remaining fuel, which is now 78%, will not change anymore. Let me check it again to make sure everything is fine. So we have Xenon still freely moving, probably being reduced. And all the fuel channels fixed. I will wait just one wi minute to see if everything is fine. Generated load still 1029, slowly increasing. Jump pressure above the minimum, it's at 7600. Road position is 49.1% and this will not move unless we change some parameters of the thermodynamical systems. Because the reason why this number was decreasing in a simulation is because the remaining fuel was going to zero. So to compensate for this, we needed to withdraw more and more rods. Uh, past 12% of mm, rod insertion, we got the alarm of too many rods mm, withdrawn. And then we, when there is too, le too, too few fuel, we got the scrum. So now you see you can run this indefinitely with a remaining fuel that will be kept at the number at the moment you fix all this. Okay, I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.